Chris Chinock here in the NanoSys booth at Display Week 2022. Uh, we're looking at the Hisense 75-inch uh, U9H mini uh, mini LED 8K display. If you can see these numbers here, it's 98% DCI coverage, 2,000 nits, 1,280 uh, local dimming zones, uh, and that will be available here in the U.S. Uh, this summer for around uh, $3,200. And of course, it uses the Nanosys uh, quantum dots in it. Uh, so very nice looking display. I also want to show you um, something else that Nanosys has been working on specifically. Uh, they I bought a company called Glow um, about a year ago, and uh, Glow makes micro LED uh, devices, uh, and they have now put together this uh, auto HUD uh, reference design. And you can see the uh, the specifications for this auto HUD right here: uh, 0.7 inch display, uh, 50,000 nits uh, luminance, uh, and a 7 by 7 micron uh, device. Now, you can sit in this thing um, and look at this HUD display. It is extremely bright. And I don't know if my camera can capture this very well. I kind of doubt it. Well, yeah, you're going to see just basically a, a, a bright spot there. Because um, it's, uh, it's, way, it's actually way too bright for this, uh, for this particular um, setup here. Uh, so what Nanosys is doing is they they have this reference kit out with a number of uh, auto HUD makers right now, uh, trying to develop this uh, this application. So let's take a look at the uh, the QD uh, OLED displays. Okay, here is the comparison that we were looking to see here. This is the QD OLED on the right uh, from Samsung, and this is a white uh, uh, OLED on the left. Uh, brand on, I believe it's an LG display, uh, and you can see the specifications down here. Uh, and what you'll notice here is the the price is going to be uh, similar to the uh, Samsung display, but the peak uh, and average nits, the full white nits, uh, are going to be lower. Uh, and the and color saturation, the, the color gamut's also going to be lower, 77% uh, on that. And if we look over here on the QD uh, OLED. Uh, price will be a little bit lower, uh, higher color than coverage, uh, and peak white and 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 average white is going to be much bigger. So uh, those numbers, 1,500 nits, is actually uh, only in a 3% window. Uh, and they uh, they talk about a 10% window is more like a thousand uh, a thousand nits or so. Uh, over here, uh, these numbers, 930 nits. Uh, is for also about a 3% window. Uh, it's a little unclear if this is the new uh, Evo panel. Uh, they think it is, but typically that would be over a thousand. It's, I believe it's in a 10% window, but I, uh, I'm not positive about that. So there are a number of scenes here where you can see the color volume difference. Uh, it's most obvious in, in the, the brightest parts of these scenes. Uh, this camera is not going to capture that because the camera just doesn't have the dynamic range to show that very well. But uh, you just have to take my word for it. It's it's it is visible. Um, but the perhaps the most stunning thing I think, and the most obvious thing, is the off-angle viewing here. So uh, not only is the the image better off-angle, uh, but there's uh, it's it's brighter. It maintains the brightness. The, the QD OLED maintains the brightness and the colors off angle. Uh, so it's it's quite noticeably different. Again, the camera is not going to really capture it very well here. Uh, so you will have to take my word for it. Uh, and now let's take a look at their XDEF product. Uh, this is Danosis' uh, XQDEF uh, diffuser plate product. It is one. Uh, an award, a, a component award at, at SID this year. Uh, and this is going to go in and has gone into already um, quite a few TVs. Uh, this is particularly here is a this Hisense uh, 4K TV. Uh, and you can see the, the specifications are, are much more modest here. Uh, and the whole point of this is it's, it's designed for, let's call them mid-tier uh, TVs that are, can now claim that they have some quantum dot uh, performance uh, and it, it's actually quite an innovation. So, 
Uh, all the QDEF films that they've used before use indium phosphide. Uh, this one uh, uses um, some of their older um, cadmium-based quantum dots, and they've created this thick diffuser plate. So this is actually uh, an extruded uh, sheet uh, film, uh, PMMA on both sides with a quantum dot film in between using the uh, these cadmium quantum dots. Uh, it is air stable, uh, so that's a, a unique feature. Uh, the indium phosphide quantum dots are not air stable, uh, so they have to be encapsulated with various various films. Uh, but uh, they did tell me that they're working on a new uh, quantum dot solution. Uh, Nanasys is also working on a new um, quantum dot technology. They call it they call it AIGS. It's actually a uh, silver indium gallium sulfide combination for green uh, and the big benefits here are um, it's it's more light absorbent than the indium phosphide uh, green quantum dots they have now uh, and the advantage of that is it's a thinner material first of all so then you don't have to use the uh, the deep uh, the, the thicker black matrix material around there they can go to a more a standard black matrix material, lower cost. Uh, they can also get rid of the cut yellow filter uh, that's typically put into these. And full width half max minute is also down a little bit to around uh, on the order of 25 nanometers. So uh, they're hoping to get this into next generation products, uh, but this should be an interesting uh, development for them. That's uh, Chris Chinock here.